Welcome back to my channel. Jessie here. Here. For today's video, I will be sharing with you guys a part of my channel. <laughs> bagay na nakatulong sa akin to earn an extra income. And if you are a mom or an ate or a kuya, basta mahilig ka sa DIY, pwede mo rin ito gawin. And I will also teach you how to earn money out of this project. So yes, marami akong ginawa para magkarapin. So, uh, aside from doing my interior design job before no nag assess pa lang ako sa isang firm. Uh, nag mix din ako ng perfume. So, ako yung gumagawa ng perfume. And, syempre, pinapabenta ko sa kapatid ko sa school. So, another part na, another thing na ginawa ko nga is yung paggawa ng DIY headbands. And, yun yung ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon. <laughs> And, yes, without further ado, let's get started. Trace the jar cover to create circular patterns. Now it's time to cut the fabric. For this project, we need at least 12 circular patterns to create the flower petals for each headband. Fold the fabric in half and secure the round edges with a sewing pin. Start sewing the opposite side using a running stitch. Secure the stitches by creating knots on the back side of the fabric pattern. Now that we're done with the first flower petal, let's move on to the next one. Fold the fabric into quarters, then roll it starting with the side that is open. Once you've formed a cone, sew the ends to hold the rolled fabric together. Measure the amount of craft ribbons needed to cover the headband. Use sewing pins as guide to mark the edges that you'll sew. Now, you can start sewing the edges of the ribbon. Just make sure you're doing the reverse side. Hide the stitches by reversing the craft ribbon. You can do this by pushing a small part of the ribbon outward using a pen or any thin or pointed object. Then, start pulling the inner part of the ribbon on an outward direction with a needle.
Do this slowly. Make sure that you won't create any damage on the rhythm. Now we can use the Sewn Craft Ribbon to cover the first headband that we are creating. To cover the tip of the headband, cut an inch and a half from the craft ribbon and glue it around the tip of the headband. Do the same thing on the other side. So it's time to glue the fabric petals together. Use four petals to create a flower. Look closely to observe how each petals are supposed to be positioned on the headband. I've decided to attach two flowers for this headband. Again, look closely to see how each petals are positioned. Putting rhinestones on this headband is actually optional, so it's up to you if you want to put some or not. Let's move on to the second headband. Since the craft ribbon is too wide, I decided to cut it in the middle so that I can wrap it diagonally to cover the second headband. Glue the sides, pressing it lightly to make sure the glue doesn't bleed out of the ribbon. To cover the tip of the headband, cut an inch and a half from the craft ribbon and glue it around the tip of the headband. Do the same thing on the other side. Attach two cone-shaped petals this way. Do the same on the other side, creating a mirror effect. Since the stitches are showing in the middle, you can conceal it by gluing some rhinestones and pearls over it. I would suggest that a better option for the glue is an E6000 glue. However, I cannot find any, so I decided to use this type of fabric glue instead. Attach the pearls and the rhinestones by gluing it on the hair clips. For the clips, you can do an ombre effect for the spray paint, just like what I did. But you also have an option to do it in full gold color.
and we're done. So again, guys, I want to um, take this opportunity to thank all of my old subscribers and also the new ones. So thank you so much because I really want to grow this channel na to so that I could share my passion for creating DIY projects. So, so again, guys, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So click that button below and you can also click the notification bell to get more updates on new uploaded videos. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!